hi everyone welcome back to the new video in this video we'll be talking about this prompting technique that's known as rephrase and respond let large language models ask better questions for themselves so the basic crux on which this paper is laid out is that the data distribution the language the formatting on which these large language models are trained it might not always be the case that you ask a question to the LM that really fits in that distribution and if that's not the case model usually tries to approximate your ask to its distribution so that it can try to answer your question in the best possible manner then a very interesting question arises right what if your LLM itself is capable of translating the question that you have asked into its own language or the distribution on which it's trained on and then ask the same question to itself so ideally the rephrasing of the question should get to the better answer right so that's what the crux of this paper is where the method that they propose is called rephrase and respond that allows the LLMs to rephrase and expand questions posted by humans and provide response in a single prompt and it's built on logic saying misunderstandings arise not only in interpersonal communication but also between the humans and large language models so that's a pretty cool way to start the abstract and then they build on to the method which is rephrase and respond so essentially they propose two step variant of RAR so the first one involves just using single LLM whereas the second one involves using two LLMs one for rephrasing and one for responding and this method significantly improves on the performance of model across wide range of tasks this is complementary to COT which is chain of thoughts and if combined together with chain of thought it is seen to be even better compared to their standalone versions cool so let's try and understand the two-step RAR method so this is the first one but the idea is to use just single prompt for everything so let's say if you say take the last letter of the words in Edgar Bob and concatenate them and then you write down rephrase and expand the question and respond so the model outputs could you please form a new string or series of characters by joining together the final letters for each word in the phrase this and then it follows up with the correct answer which is the last letter of the words this and this is this so the concatenated form becomes rb so that works perfectly well right so but eventually on a lot of other complexity of questions across different domains they found this method to perform little not so good as compared to two-step rar which again is in the similar setting where you ask the question which is in blue which is your instruction of the main task that you're trying to ask LLM to perform and then you say given the above question rephrase and expand it to help you do better answering maintain all the information in the original question so this is the first LLM which is rephrasing LLM that generates paraphrase or rephrase version of the question that you have asked for now if you read through this you'll realize it's again a step-by-step -step fashion that says can you identify and extract final letters in the both words that form this and then this goes along with the original question to your responding LLM that takes in the original ask and the rephrased version that the model generated. And then you complete a question by saying use your answer for the rephrased question to the answer to the original question. So with this you are essentially trying to tell model to answer based on the rephrased question that you have but that should also satisfy the original question which in its sense is giving hint to the model saying rephrased and original questions are more or less the same thing so the answers that you extract either for the original or rephrase should be the same so with that understanding it tries to answer it in a step-by-step -step fashion where it extracts r to be one of the words b to be one of the words and then concatenating both of them would become rb so yeah that's the idea of two-step rephrase and response strategy cool so let's move forward and see what else do we have oh by the way this is a blog that is there on the ucla website which I'm going through. If you are interested, you can just go through the paper also. The code is also available. I didn't intentionally go through that because this because the paper looked sufficient for me to understand what's really happening in the paper. Cool. So this is again two step, one step. Then you have motivation, which we have anyways discussed. Then you have performance with the rephrased and original question. So on the right hand side, the figure that you see, right? For both the three tasks that are mentioned on the left hand side where the idea is to see if model understands what what an even day is and what an even month is and then you have the rephrase version of the same thing based on the person's name it is supposed to take that call and by the way if you read through the rephrase version you will realize it kind of expands its context by mentioning what an even month or what an even day would look like so that gives an extra hint i believe to the model 
in terms of correctly forming the output and by doing this validation checks implicitly that's reflected in the accuracy also right the blue bars for across all three things is almost 40 to 50 percent better compared to the original last query oh so i just realized so the third question in the original question that says was person born in an even day i think this should be year because the rephrase question also asks for the year if that's an even number and that's also reflected in the rightmost diagram right even year so so the orange last should not be the even day but even year cool so let's see what do we have that's again in the similar lines it's just a little verbose version of the example that we saw let's move forward so we have results here they have spider chart so i think yeah it's called spider chart so with two step which is in purple and the one that's in red which is one step we can see right across multiple domains or multiple kind of tasks that we are putting our system onto the coverage or the accuracy numbers are much better than the blue which is the original one the accuracy numbers are consistently better compared to the original question that you might have asked across all of these areas and this is when they compare it with multiple language models gpt4 3.5 and vicuna the similar pattern is observed i believe for gpt4 clearly that's the pattern you have two step rar better than the original one across all the testings that we have done for gpt3.5 on sports and csqa you have your original ones better but generally the two step rar has has better accuracy across more areas and with vicuna that's also the same case but the margin of improvement is relatively less as we saw for the gpt4 and 3.5 so the larger the model size that you go towards the generalization or ability for the model to understand more complex questions with more hints as you saw right it, it defined like what a even number would look like what a even month would look like so all these information are really necessary when your model size is really big so that it has the capability and capacity to understand those nuances and that's what i guess is getting reflected in this spider chart across all these three models Cool. So I think we are done with the blog now. If you're interested in going through this and reading it in more detail in the paper, feel free to do so. I'll link that in the description box. But the main crux was how you are rephrasing and responding and the idea of doing it at the first place. So if you like such content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also share it across with your friends to whoever is interested in such content. I'll meet you in the new one soon. Bye bye and take care.